Hey, it's Dave from Area 224. You know, the folks at Honda have launched something talking about failure and learning from your failures. And I wanted to weigh in on that because especially there are a couple people that I really uh, respect who are talking on video about their failures. So I thought I would throw in my own. Uh, Olivier, the brand builder, is there. Tim Ferriss from the 4-Hour Workweek is also there. And what was interesting about what Tim talked about is how it rang true for me because where he talks about his failure, it's in the same industry that my first big failure was in. So I was in charge, and if you Google my name, you'll find out I was in charge of a company called USphere for a couple of years. And it was one of these emerging social networks before even social networks were really all that popular. It was a cross between eHarmony and LendingTree for the college admissions process. And I would, I'd be the first to admit that I learned a ton from that failure. And I tell people all the time when I'm in meetings, when I'm in uh, new business pitches, things of that nature, that the thing that I made a, a definite decision about was I was either going to go get an MBA or I was going to build a business and I ended up building a business. So what I want to talk about is is where I failed and what I've learned. Um, we had the wrong partnerships. So at the end of the day, it was a one person band with a loose confederation of partnerships and business development relationships, etc. Well, we had a great uh, technology partner uh, and a person that worked with us on building the technology and helping to make it creative and, and look good and all that sort of stuff. That was great. The rest of the partnerships just were not that good. And what what else we did was uh, we were in an industry that was just way too complex uh, and we were trying to solve what we thought was a, a really comp complex problem with something that simplified it almost way too much. Uh, we were in the college admissions universe, so you had all sorts of players involved. You had um, a for-profit and a not-for-profit universe. You had parents and students and guidance counselors and all sorts of people talking about uh, different ways that they can help you. You had a new cycle of people coming in each year trying to get into their first choice or even their fifth choice college. You had different uh, pay-for-play models and not pay-for-play models and labyrinthine sorts of rules. It was too complex a marketplace. It was too complex a market for us to really play in effectively. Um, the other thing that we had, I think, was the wrong technology. We just were not as cutting edge as we could have been with the technology that we built. Um, it was our own. It was homegrown. What we should have done was leverage what somebody else had put a lot of uh, time and effort into into putting together. So what did we learn? What did I learn as an entrepreneur, as a business person, as a marketer? What did I learn? Well, it comes down to a couple of things. First of all, you got to trust your gut in anything you do, especially in business. Trust your gut. If you're going to go into business with somebody, if you're going to if you're going to pick a dance partner and your gut is telling you this is just not right, follow your gut. Um, there were three instances that came up during the Usphere building process. And in all three, my gut told me, walk away. And in only one instance did I walk away. And I could focus on the two where I didn't. I like to focus on the one where I did because I learned so much from not going into business with these sorts of unsavory characters that I can sleep well at night knowing that um, Ethically, it was a, a very sound thing for me to do, but I didn't really learn from the other ones um, where I made where I made those those mistakes. Um, good messaging, you need to have it. You need to understand what your message is, what your value proposition is at all times. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? If you're not trying to solve a problem, then you may not have the right the right business uh, to begin with. So. That's what I've learned from failure, um, and I think it's made me a better marketer, um, a better thinker, and someone who can bring more understanding of, of what it's really like to be on the front lines. I think it's, it's, it's brought that to bear for folks that I work with. So 
thanks again for listening to my own failure story, and I hope you look at, at yours uh, maybe in a new light and learn something from it. Thanks.